Hey, it's Nick Stat with The Verge, and we're checking out Tesla Arcade on a Tesla Model 3. It's the company's new video game hub built right into its touchscreen. So Tesla has actually had video games built into their center screen here since last August. They used to hide it in a secret Easter egg menu, so you would tap this Tesla button up here, and you would pull down, and it hit, hit a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, so not just video games, but, you know, this, like, funny fart mode thing here. Uh, you could turn your car into a, a Mars rover here. And then if you click this arcade cabinet, you'd launch the video games. But now, with their most recent update, they've actually pulled this into the main uh, menu bar. So you click this bar down here, and you've got uh, charging, calendar, energy levels, that kind of thing. You've also got arcade in the far right corner. And there you go, you're launched right into the full list of titles that are supported on Tesla right now. Now when you launch a game, you're gonna get a warning screen. Effectively, Tesla is telling you, don't hit the accelerator when you're playing a game. You can hit the brake pedal and it will work in this racing game. The brake pedal will actually have the rear brake lights turn on while you're racing, but you're not supposed to hit the accelerator. And also, you have to be prepared for the full control of the car to resume when you exit the game. It's gonna be disabled while you're playing the game, but as soon as you exit, the accelerator's gonna start working again, the brake pedal's gonna start working again, and the gear stock's gonna start working. So you need to be prepared for all of that. You can't really be doing this in the middle of the street or in traffic. They really don't want you to do that. So Beach Buggy Racing 2 is a game you can play on Android phones and tablets. Uh, the developer Vector Unit worked specifically with Tesla to port the game over to its vehicles. Uh, now it's going to have a few key tweaks. The first is that you're actually going to be able to play as your own uh, Tesla vehicle. So it's going to know the, the make and color of your car. And it's going to know that because it's gathering it from the software. Now the other key difference is that instead of using touchscreen controls, you can actually steer with your Tesla vehicle. So when you're steering with the Tesla steering wheel, it's going to have you automatically driving. So it's pressing the accelerator for you. You can brake using the touchscreen controls here but you can also brake using the actual brake pedal of your Tesla vehicle. And it'll even show brake lights. So the point of this is not to distract you while you're driving, right? It's to give you something fun to do while you're waiting for your car to charge or you've got some time to kill and you're sitting in park. Tesla CEO Elon Musk, he's always loved video games. He basically designed his own video game before he was even a teenager. So he's got an interest in doing this kind of fun stuff. And also it's just a pretty cool thing. Tesla basically has an iPad sitting in the center of their infotainment center. It's got a powerful processor, it's got an internet connection. So it's basically no different than a tablet and it can do the things a tablet can do and Tesla wants to kind of emphasize that with Arcade.